Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. In this video, I'll show you how to make a digital photo frame. Now normally these things can cost upwards of $60 depending on the size. But for this tutorial we'll make one for a lot cheaper. And the parts that you'll need for this video series is a juice box which you can find online for around $5 on Amazon.com. Then you'll also need the juice box mp3 kit which costs around $8 on eBay. And then the last thing you'll need is a shadow box. I was able to find a cardboard one um, at an arts and crafts store. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is take apart the juice box. And you can start just by removing the yellow shield on the front. It just kind of pops off. The next thing you'll need to do is remove the screws on the back. And there's five of them. And one's for the battery cover. And after you do that, you can just uh, open up the juice box. And then the next thing you'll need to do is start removing the screws inside. You can start by removing the screws on the logic board, and there's four of them, and one is under a yellow piece of tape. And after you have those removed, just kind of flip the logic board over, and the next thing we'll need to do is remove the screws for the LCD screen. And there's five of those, so you can just uh, uh, unscrew those, and then just kind of flip the LCD over. And then you can just remove the front for now. And the next thing we'll want to do is remove the speaker cover. And there's four screws to do that, so unscrew those and it will just kind of pop off. And then the next thing you'll want to do, of course, is to remove the speaker. And there's a little cord that plugs into the logic board that you can unplug and then just kind of pry the speaker out. It, it's glued into the battery pack. And then what you'll want to do is remove the battery pack. And there's one grounding wire and then it just unplugs from the logic board as well. The next step is to remove the LCD from the LCD casing. And it's just kind of like a little white bracket um, as you see there. And then you want to take that and screw it back into the front of the juice box. There's four screws for that and then just replace the logic board and make sure the LCD is, is hanging beneath the logic board and then just screw the logic board in. And then what you can do from here is put in the memory card reader that came with the MP3 kit and place it into the shadow box. Uh, mine's cardboard and I'm just kind of measuring here um, so that I can cut a notch into the side of the set shadow box um, and uh, and make room for the power button and the memory card reader. And if yours is wood, instead of cutting it uh, with a utility knife, you'll of course have to use something more heavy duty like a saw. And then what I'm going to do is measure the buttons, measure the size of the buttons and the width of them, and uh, and cut places for them into the shadow box as well. And you want to make sure they're the right distance from the sides, uh, from the sides, so that when whenever you place the juice box in there, uh, the buttons line up. And you can see how they line up here. All right. So the next step is to measure the LCD screen itself. And the reason you're wanting to do this is so that um, you can cut a hole in, in the cover paper. And this is just going to make sure that when you put it in the shadow box, you can't see all the wiring and stuff behind it. So this will just uh, uh, make sure that when, whenever you're viewing the picture frame, you can only see the LCD screen. So after you've cut a hole in that, you want to glue it into the front of the shadow box. And then you also want to cut a hole in it also for the memory card so that it all fits together. All right, then the next thing you want to do is take the battery pack and you want to cut this notch off. And the reason you want to do that is because, as you can see here, we're mounting the LCD screen on it. And I just hot glued mine. Um, on there, but before I did that, I made sure that I plugged the battery pack back into the logic board, and I just hot glued everything down, and then I can turn it on, and uh, and place the top on, and that's pretty much it. 
Um, some side things that you may want to do, I didn't do this for mine, but you can also cut a hole in the back for the batteries just in case you want to change batteries. Um, but juice boxes also support a 4.5 volt cord that you can also plug into the side if you would care to do that. Um, and also alternate renditions of this can be found on the internet where people use actual frames and some have even attached uh, elongated buttons, buttons that stretch further so they can place them at the top of the picture frame cases. Um, but those are just some little things that you can do if you want. Mine's just a basic version. Um, used a little cardboard shadow box. Uh, but it, it still serves the same functionality and looks, looks pretty good, I think. Um, so you can mess around with this if you want, but that's how you get started. For more video tutorials, go to Tinkernut.com.